Happy Saturday, witches. Today's card poll is from the Moonology Oracle card deck, written by Yasmin Bolin. Artwork is by Nix Rowan. The moon is still in Aries, according to our witches' almanac, and I hope you have an amazing Saturday. Attune to the moon. Find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your life. Additional meanings for this card. Worrying too much will attract more things to worry about. Have you been overly critical? An apology may be in order. Stop second guessing yourself. Raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. The teaching. The full moon in Virgo is a time to declutter your life, your home, and your office. It's the time to sort what's good in your life from what's not serving you. It's also the time to clear out your energies via salt baths and meditation and practice getting more grounded by walking barefoot. No matter when you draw this card, it's a reminder that any time is a good time to start living a healthier life. Hey there, witches. My name is Shannon, and I'm the other half of Saren Witchery as well as the creator of our cauldron creations. Most of my life, I've had really sensitive skin. And over time, I taught myself how to make all natural, limited ingredient soaps, lotions, and more. I also believe very strongly that what you put on your body is just as important as what you put in it. In addition to the amazing essential oil potions that Anya already makes, we have five different varieties or scents and more are coming. We have our very popular milk and honey soap, which is made with organic oats for exfoliation, organic honey, and organic goat's milk. This soap smells amazing and has such an amazingly rich lather. We also have our Kayam and Trouble Goddess soap, which was made with the Serum Witchery Potions, as well as a lovely moisturizing blend of shea, cocoa, and mango butter. If you're looking for a more invigorating and exfoliating soap, I'd suggest the Witch Wake Up with its organic coffee grounds, activated charcoal, organic honey, and all natural goat's milk. It's what I use on my face every day, and I haven't had skin issues or rosacea flare-ups in ages. The most recent addition is what we're calling Demeter's Delight, after the goddess Demeter. It has organic goat's milk, as well as organic honey, and skin-safe mica for a little bit of sparkle. It's scented with a little bit of cranberry and grapefruit and eucalyptus. I'm also happy to announce that starting early September, we will have a few new products arriving. We'll have our super moisturizing whip lotion and a solid lotion bar as well. We will also have a lovely whip sugar scrub that is incredible for moisturizing and exfoliating. I hope you'll stop by our booth at one of our upcoming events to ask all about Cauldron Creations. I would love to tell you all about it. Blessed be. On September 10th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sarah Witchery will be vending at the Columbia Willamette Pagan Pride Day at Oaks Amusement Park. There is a $5 parking fee to park in Oaks Park, and then it's free entry or donation at the door. There will be amazing vendors, musicians, I believe, as well as entertainment. And according to their website, the mermaids will be there as well. So we sure do hope that you'll come and join us at the Columbia Willamette Pagan Pride Day on September 10th. Another upcoming event that we have is on September 13th at 5 o'clock, and it will be free. We will be using Google Chat. During this event, I will be talking about my Witchcraft 101 class, what it will look like, how it will be run, and you can ask any and all questions that you have regarding the class. You can also check out our Facebook page on our events. And if you don't have Facebook, that's okay. If you want to register, you can email us at sarenwitchery at gmail.com and we will send you the link. Another upcoming event is on September 17th on the streaming platform known as Paraflix. I will be talking with host Dr. Kelly Schultz on a show called Disembodied Voices.
This is a great opportunity for me and for Sarah Witchery. To learn more about this streaming service, you can go to www.paraflix.com. There is a 30 day free trial. I will be seeing if there's another way to get copy for those who cannot stream. So stay tuned. We'll be announcing more as we find out more information. And I hope that you'll watch the episode and tell me what you think. Another event for the community is not one that Sarah Witchery will be vending at, but we will be attending as attendees. This is the fall equinox ritual and the celebration out at Finnan. And we will be honoring Hecate, the three formed goddess of the crossroads. We will revel in her new permanent shrine and statue with ceremonies befitting this ancient deity. We offer daily self-led rites to explore Hecate's epitaph altar to visit, daily devotions to honor her, and nightly mysteries to take us deeper within this ancient and powerful goddess of witchcraft and magic. Want to register? Click the link below and it'll take you right to their webpage. On September 27th at 5 o'clock, live on our YouTube channel, we'll be having our question and answering session that we offer every month called Ask the Witch. If you can't make it to the live broadcast to ask your questions, please feel free to put your questions in the comments and I will answer them. If you can't make it to the live broadcast to watch it, that's okay. We will be reposting it on our Facebook groups as well as on our YouTube channel. We will be at the Harvest Moon Bazaar on September 30th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Held at the Wingspan Event and Conference Center in Hillsboro. We will be a part of the Harvest Moon Bazaar. And I will also be teaching a Cleansing Your Chakra through Dance Workshop from one o'clock to three o'clock. So I sure do hope that you'll come. It is a free event. It does not cost you to get in. So come on over, look at all the vendors, entertainers, and the workshops. If you want to be a vendor, you can sign up at paganfire.com. Another upcoming event that Sarah Witchery is involved in is Season of the Witch Marketplace. It will be located at the shop where my apothecary is located, if the broom fits. And there will be lots of vendors. We will have food trucks. The Dancing Witches of Portland will be there. So we sure do hope that you'll come and kick off the Samhain season with us. In October, from October 13th to October 15th, out on the Oregon coast, we're offering a Rediscover Your Inner Goddess weekend. This weekend is available for all levels. New, experience, doesn't matter. This weekend workshop will allow us to deep, deep dive to find our inner goddess. We will be having meditations, food, activities, as well as arts and crafts. When you leave, you will leave with a mirror that you have decorated for you and your inner goddess so that when you feel lost or disconnected, you can use this tool to reconnect with your feminine divine. The reason we chose October 13th, which is a Friday, is because historically Friday the 13th was a day reserved for all beings to celebrate their inner feminine divine. Want to get registered? Check out our website, www.sarenwitchery.com. Get your tickets in. Spots are filling up quickly. We hope to see you there. Lots of fun. Blessed be witches. Another upcoming event that we have is our Energetic Warding class. This class will be on November 18th from 4 to 7 p.m. inside of If the Broom Fits. In this class, we will be learning how to protect your energetic body. We will learn how to make sure that we are not overwhelmed by other people around us <clears throat> and are able to do things like family gatherings, family functions, our normal everyday chores like grocery shopping. The tools that you use will be practiced inside the class, and I really hope that you'll join us. The cost is $45, 
and you can register by going to our website or by clicking on the link below.